I reach, I'm gonna cut this angle. Alex, his leg is gonna come off the ground naturally. I'm not even trying to lift it yet. Ideally, if Alex puts his hands on the mat, that's what I want. If it doesn't happen, that's okay. But watch, from here I'm gonna straighten my leg, and Alex's leg falls right into the position I need. Now I use my knees to bring them in, and I get this position right here. So let's examine what that looks like. So from here, when, once this foot falls, I have a knee that comes through the middle, and I use my toes to grip the far leg. At the same time, my heel comes up, and I find his hip bone, and I push into it with my heel. My toes are pointing out. So from here, I'm driving my knee towards that heel, and my butt lifts off the ground, and I'm clamping on my own leg here. So this is what single leg X looks like. So from here, right, I, I find my inside position, and I get my command. Right? If Alex tries to move at all here, and I follow him, it's going to be pretty easy for me to just fall to my side and start rotating. Notice too how my upper body rotates towards the foot. If Alex is square with me here, it's going to be really hard to get this. It's going to feel awkward. So I need to bring my head towards the foot on this angle. See how I'm perpendicular to Alex? And now I have to be strong on my legs. Your legs are going to get tired. You have to be strong and sweet. So I want you guys, once you set up this guard, I want you to hang out here for at least five to 10 seconds before you finally let go, okay? For as long as you can. Again, I'm here, right? I get my position. Angle to angle, knee on the outside, and the back of the knee. Same side on. I start to fall on my shoulder. I reach for the opposite foot as a placeholder. Straighten the leg up, his leg slides right down. My knees staying tight, shifting my head towards the leg, boom, heel in the hip, ripping the toes on the opposite leg, pinching my knees, lifting my hips off the ground. Okay, the final part of the, the uh, guard is my hand coming behind my own uh, thigh here, and I'm gripping my elbow against his foot. Because here's the thing, if I don't have anything controlling his foot, no matter what I try to do next, this foot's gonna have enough room to keep balance and to transition to passing my leg. So I need to have everything locked on this one leg. Now guys, if Alex doesn't want to fall, he's gotta be heavy on the leg that I'm doing this to. So while I'm practicing with Alex, as soon as I get this position, Alex needs to put all his weight in this leg so he doesn't just fall over. And it'll actually help me cinch up the guard better. Thank you. 